it's finally here. The NFL, which means Sam Darnold is back. The New York Jets are back. And for the second straight year, they'll open up against the Buffalo Bills. Unlike last year, however, they will be in Orchard Park for week one this Sunday. The Bills defense is an interesting, good defense. They're safe. They're soft. They love to keep everything in front, which means there are critical keys for Sam Darnold when facing this defense this Sunday. First down, quarters from the Bills show four pre-snap, empty from the Texans, and Sam Darnold, again, he's gonna have to be patient. This is first down. Getting four or five, you'll take that every time on first down. There's the the four pre-snap in the secondary. Look at how off those corners are. There are the routes, and with, it's a three by two, three on the field side. So the Bills are gonna adjust the coverage accordingly. The A-gap show and the other show up at the line drop. And although it's a four, you know, these Bills defenders react quickly. They react based on reads. That's each DB's first read. So if they stop short, they know because it's four, they have another guy deep if the other guy, their secondary read, goes vertical. Check out that safety right there. This is where the ball's going. Although he's in a four, that receiver's his read, breaks on it, and the Bills love doing this on first down. So Darnold, the Jets, they have to be patient. Number one, they have to run the ball. I don't like the empty look because when they go empty, the Bills love to widen the D tackles and create the illusion that they may be bringing pressure even though they don't blitz that often. You'll see here, here are the D tackles. Uh, they'll put them in a three or a four eye and almost dare the quarterback to run a quarterback sneak, but you don't want to do that in this league unless it's for six. Linebackers, A gap, uh, along the edge, drop. If Darnold could make that play and the receiver can make that play, you'll take that every time on first down. Sam Darnold's going to have to be quicker than this against Buffalo's very soft defense. This is the first play of the game, week 17. And we'll highlight the four, well, four of the five DBs, but the two outside corners and the two safeties who are usually the show four or quarters defense for Buffalo when they're in that look. There's the routes. Darnold's going to go to Crowder in the flat. And you'll see it's delivered late, which is a Darnold problem. If he's not thinking the outlet, the flat, the cross, whatever it may be, immediately, he's usually late. He's got to he's gotta pick that up. Now look at the corner. He's bailing. With that corner bailing, this ball, it's not unfair to ask this ball to almost be released right now to Crowder in the flat. That's the only other threat, and his body position is not going to threaten the flat in terms of a pick six or anything like that. When the ball gets there, the defender nearly, I mean, he does overrun it pretty much. So Darnold, Crowder get lucky in that sense. But if you're going to go to the flat there, it's got to be quicker. Look at that corner bailing. Look at that other slot corner and know that it's there. And if not, you know, have the hook, the curl to that other weapon. I couldn't tell who that was. Maybe Demarius Thomas. I don't like empty against the Bills. I know why people do it. Because they're such a soft defense, you want the five weapons and the quarterback to make quick decisions. But look at the defensive tackles. A four eye and a five. So I'd much rather have the threat of a run. So McDermott and Frazier can't widen those tackles. But I understand why Gase and other offensive coordinators go empty. Darnold here, just too slow to the flat. That's going to be a big key this Sunday. Patience downfield against the Bills' cover four defense. Yet also, Darnold has to make sure he gets rid of it much more quickly than he normally does. He has this thing where, and you see it right there, completion of Vincent Smith where he's, if he knows where he's going short on a three-step drop, he's good. The timing's good. The accuracy's good. But when it's an outlet, 
when it's not his first or second read, he's slow to get it to the outlet like here. Look at Darnold, looks left, looks right. Right is really where he's going, his primary targets. Look at Vincent Smith on the left. Right now, there's nothing. Based on the other view with coverage, there is nothing. He's right here on the plant. He should have already looked left at Vincent Smith. And if he threw it earlier, Vincent Smith could have picked up a few more yards on Yak. Way too late still. Uh, good job to get it to him, but he gets banged up. He gets smacked by the linebacker. This is the area where Darnold can really excel, especially against Buffalo. Knowing when to give up on your primary or secondary read based on concept, defensive concept, and space is huge for, the, for quarterbacks in this league with these rules. Never has it been better to take what's available to you underneath. Darnold looking for these two verticals. It's a, it's a three deep cover three take the shallow cross here with Demarius Thomas. There's plenty of cushion. That middle route clears it out for him beautifully. First down, take that. That's a win every time. Instead, he he sticks on the one and two read vertically and doesn't adjust or doesn't adjust quick enough. Again, against Buffalo, a cover four, cover three team who likes to keep everything in front. This is the play you have to make, especially on first down. Get it, get it out quickly, and make Buffalo pay and adjust and start playing more aggressively. But like I already said, he knows, if he knows where he's going with the ball pre-snap on a three-step, he gets it done. Like here in this fourth down situation, he knows where he's going, boom, Thomas in the flat, the other two routes clear it out. It's a great job, but getting that ball to these flat, shallow cross outlet type patterns if it's not the first read is where Darnold struggles a bit for Sam Darnold Sunday in Orchard Park it'll be about patience look at the Houston Texans here second and nine motion Deshaun knows something is up why you can see signal right there pointing at the linebacker something is up that linebacker is in no man's land he shouldn't be over there based on the empty three on the field side look. The number three weapon here is totally uncovered, which means something's up with the linebacker, something's gonna happen with the rush, that guy right there, and it's his own defense. So Darnold reading that defense, and here's the Bills. They're showing four. They're a big cover three, cover four team. They led the NFL in giving up the fewest amount of 20 and 40 yard plays last year. And they're not a blitzing team. Even though they send the linebacker here, they replace him with the D end in the hook curl zone. The cover four, show four, turns into a three buzz. So that strong safety buzzes down into the hook curl along with the D end. And everyone else is gonna play their responsibility. Three deep, there's really nothing open. I mean, up top. I'm surprised White is giving him that much cushion, to be honest. There's no second read threatening his deep third. But to make that play, that's still dangerous. To make that play, you have to be on it from the get-go. And Watson scrambles. The Bills are a safe coverage team. They're a safe defense overall. They like to keep everything in front. I think they finished 18th last year in rushing five or more players. And they limit big plays. So for Darnold... And in this look, the Jets have to run the ball effectively if it's not empty. But Darnold has to be patient. Buffalo will throw a lot of guys out in the line of scrimmage, a lot of chaos to try to fool the quarterback, especially young quarterbacks. But most of the time, they rush four. They could come from strange angles, but most of the time, they rush four. They don't rush five or more a lot. This is third and five big play first of all watch buffalo's coverage there goes the slot corner on the blitz on the rush i should say and the single high turns into a two deep with two hard flats and the two deep is a corner and a safety darnold completes it he goes to the right guy with the right timing crowder makes the win hitted catch you'll see it better on the other angle so darnold makes the right decision but there's a lot wrong. Look at Buffalo. Seven 
up on the line with the slot corner coming in. They rush only four. And you'll see which four in a second. Four to the left. I don't know what Quali and Beecham are doing. Three drop to the right. Like we already saw, it's too deep. Now watch Darnold. Watch his feet. You want him to kind of plant and step into it a little bit. Um, it's good that he could throw from all different angles, but this is just not a good delivery. Not good with the confidence. He could have planted. Terrible throw. If Crowder doesn't make a one-handed catch, it could be picked. When facing Buffalo, you can't you have to keep your poise in these situations when they're showing so many guys at the line. Well, yes, Buffalo plays a lot of cover four, cover three. You know, don't be confused. That's not all they do. Like, for example, here they'll play two with a corner. I think it was with a corner and a safety. They'll play a lot of different coverages, but the common themes are simple. They like to keep everything in front. They're safe. They never want anything behind them. They don't like taking that risk. At number two, they don't blitz a lot. They ranked 18th, as previously mentioned, in rushing five or more guys last year, and it works for them. For McDermott, Leslie Frazier, it works. And Darnold, patience is the key when facing these loose coverages and when thinking about going downfield. But while patience is the key when looking downfield, quickness and knowing when to give up and hit that outlet and do it the right timing and placing the ball right where it needs to be for extra yak yards is the other key. So be patient, don't force things, take what the defense gives you, but do it in a hurry. That and also checking into the run game when it makes sense. Buffalo may dare the Jets to run the ball early, play loose coverage, maybe go too deep, see if they can get it done with Le'Veon Bell and that new offensive line. And if they can, it will make a world of difference for Sam Darnold and the Jets. For Darnold, be patient, hit the underneath stuff quickly, and don't get frustrated. Take what the loose Bills defense gives you.